Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bearable bull here. And I got this aggressively average content for you today. As ladies and gentlemen, all of you are going to realize how important the past couple days have been. I told you, April 8th, the energy is about a shift in our direction. And after this April 8th solar eclipse, we're going to see some massive changes on the world stage. But in regards to crypto and XRP specifically, let me say this. What just occurred with the US dollar stablecoin and XRP cannot be ignored. Ripple has been needing to find a new way to make money that's not selling its XRP. Ripple has been a major source of selling pressure on the XRP price. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And frankly, I believe if they didn't have to continue fighting the SEC, they would have stopped selling so much XRP. Imagine how difficult it must be on the XRP price to be de delisted from every single US exchange while simultaneously having Ripple sell XRP. But we still made it at $2 while going through a lawsuit and being hyper suppressed. This new stablecoin is going to allow for three new income streams for Ripple. And this is going to allow them to stop selling as much XRP. And I also believe there's going to be a decision made in this case that's going to limit how much XRP Ripple's going to be allowed to sell. These new income streams will make no more selling of XRP in future IPO preparation. As how good is it going to look if they have new revenue streams aside from just selling XRP? Santiago Velez stated you can make interest if you're Ripple. From this stablecoin, you can make fees. XUSD on the XRP ledger and Ethereum networks allow for liquidity pools against other assets like XRP wherein they are the market maker, and even better avoiding impermanent losses with the new AMM. Custody. Ripple has new custody solutions with Medico as a subsidiary. And with Medico as a subsidiary, this will allow banks to issue stablecoins and safely custody digital assets on ledgers without having a dip in the capital reserves required by Basel III. Do you guys see what's going on here? Is everybody paying attention? The energy in the universe just shifted in XRP's direction. And people are over here telling me about the price. Oh, the price is going to change. And the state of the economy is going to be permanently shifted. State Street has warned a half point Federal Reserve interest rate cut as soon as June and around 150 basis points of easing this year alone. And guys, every time we see interest rate cuts, we see pullbacks in markets. You need to expect a pullback at some given moment. But for the moment, until we those rate cuts, I expect prices to continue to rise for some of our favorite ults and especially for XRP. A lot of you aren't paying attention, but once you see everything happening all at once, you're finally going to get it. And in my 100 reasons why XRP will hit new all time highs in 2024 video, the literal third reason why I believed XRP was going to the moon was because interest rate cuts are coming. Look at how they've arrived. Once they signal that cuts are inbound. It is inevitable. And once we see a quick pullback in markets, the interest rate cuts will lead to more inflation, which will lead to crypto prices rising. And I'd highly recommend you continue to watch the rest of this video if you want to understand all the other reasons why XRP is going to new all time highs. But here, in regards to this moment in time, I want to go a little deeper into what just occurred in this April 8th solar eclipse. You guys have noted that Waters Above has come on my channel to discuss what he expected to happen. He revealed the name Putin 
and the theme of war was likely. And we are already in a grand war with Russia that we don't need to be in. So I can only imagine what the following days is going to look like. But in addition, I want to talk about what this could mean symbolically because, unfortunately, I've seen plenty of astrologers in the crypto space make extremely accurate calls using the energies of the universe in regards to crypto. And therefore, I can no longer ignore it. And had I believed in any of this astrology bullshit back in 2022, I would have been prepared for the blood moon being the exact day that Terra Luna collapsed. Now, I'm going to tell you what is expected because of this April 8th eclipse. It's not just a normal solar eclipse, and even if it was, that would be bad news enough. Upon further investigation, I have far more confidence in the things that I have already said. Let me show you what I have found. 7.4 earthquake and several aftershocks hit Taiwan yesterday. Eight days after a total lunar eclipse hit the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate at the same time. For reference, the lunar eclipse covered this area right here over top of the divide between the Pacific and North American Plates. The earthquake was over here in Taiwan, on the other side of the Pacific Plate. Correlation does not equal causation. The title of this paper published in 2019, The Combined Effects of the Gravitational Forces on the Tectonic Plates on Earth's Surface Exerted by the Moon, the Sun, and the Other Planets are one of the main reasons of the earthquakes. This article published in 2023, the moon's pull is so strong it may trigger earthquakes on Earth. Scientists are still baffled by its power. This article published in 2016, moon's pull can trigger big earthquakes. Big earthquakes such as the ones that devastated Chile in 2010 and Japan in 2011 are more likely to occur during full and new moons, the two times each month when tidal stresses are highest. There's no shortage. The sun and moon are linked to earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault from 2016. Let me nerd out a little bit, hold on. A total solar eclipse requires a new moon and when they are lined up, so is their gravitational pull on the Earth's surface. A total lunar eclipse requires a full moon and the sun and the moon are pulling against each other. Now hold on a minute, that full moon, full lunar eclipse that we just had covers the same exact area as that total solar eclipse we're about to have on April 8th. And the moon has already caused an earthquake. This is the annular ring of fire eclipse we had last year. During an annular eclipse, you get a ring of fire because the moon is too small to totally cover the sun. This is the total eclipse we had in 2017. This is the total eclipse we're about to have on April 8th. Now back on the 20th of March, I said, So that the new moon of a solar eclipse is like a barge passing under a bridge and hitting one of the supports. Now I said there might be 2,000 cars pass over that bridge before it collapses. But six days later, we saw that if a cargo ship hits a bridge support, it might collapse immediately. But then a few days later, a barge hit a bridge support, and we see that it only damaged it. Yes, I understand. It was very strange that I said that, and then days later, it happened twice. What can I say? Listen and watch. Once again, I say I cannot predict that the April 8th solar eclipse will cause the new Madrid fault zone to pop off or that it'll pop off so hard that that hidden fault line will become apparent, or that the Pacific plate will slip under the North American plate causing the topography to fall, because those two plates colliding is what caused the mountain ranges to form there to begin with, and when it slips under, it'll release that tension. It's that easy. Y'all think the topography is fixed? How do you think it got that way? I cannot say that this is gonna happen anytime soon after April 8th, only that it absolutely looks inevitable at some point in the future. I mean, just look at this map real quick, though. Then look at that for a moment. And now look at this map of past eclipses and the paths that they make on the face of the Earth constantly. And now let's put them on a flat Earth map just to see that that is the start of a geometric pattern like unto... I want to be clear. A geometric pattern of gravitational and magnetic paths that the Sun and Moon take above the face of the Earth such as this one that the Earth and Venus make in eight complete orbits. And hold on one second. It doesn't matter if the Earth is orbiting the Sun or the Sun is orbiting the Earth. This is the pattern. And this is what that's going to look like here. And I'm sorry, Flat Earthers, there is no Flat Earth animation that I can find of this right here, but it doesn't matter anyway. 
If you look underneath the animation, you see the Earth and Venus in eight orbits. You see Mars and Venus in seven orbits beside it. And to the right of that is Saturn and Jupiter in seven orbits. Underneath, that's Uranus and Saturn in seven orbits. You can see these patterns that are made here. This is sacred geometry, but it's much more than that. Now, these intricate dances that the celestial bodies and the Earth and the Sun and the Moon all participate in with the stars are not just patterns of movement. They are patterns of movement involving forces like gravity and magnetism or whatever you prefer to call them. I don't care at this point. These are all just labels we put in in our own little understandings of stuff and how it works. Is relativity wrong, chock full of errors? Yeah, of course it is. Einstein was a dirt monkey. His brain was made of dirt. But we do the best we can here with what we have to work with. But science says the forces of the planets and the sun and the moon affect the Earth. We know that the stars do also. Muons and neutrinos, I mean. From the stars, bombarding the Earth by the billions and billions and billions every moment of every day all the time. Don't be surprised if Mario jumps a level. Neutrino hit the switches and turned a one to a zero and he just jumped level in an apparent glitch. It's recorded, go look it up. It is no coincidence that our technology is based on this 369 as told by Nikola Tesla. This sacred geometry can be seen on every level because it is intricate to how the universe itself functions on every level. Forces and gravity and magnetism and such if you need it mundane. It's not mundane, these are celestial heavenly bodies. Bible says the sun rules over the day and the moon and the stars rule over the night and divide the light from the darkness and that means more than you think it does. And it really does show on every level. Look at how that one resembles that solar eclipse map we were just getting started on. The only reason this is not a complete and super impressive geometric pattern right here is because it's too small of a span of time in the recordings. You put enough time and recordings in here and it's a full thing. The sun and the moon, the lunar and the solar eclipses would make a pattern just like this if they were fully recorded. It's just that their pattern traces out over a much longer period of time. This one's just not done yet. It really is just Russian nesting dolls on every level. These patterns, this sacred geometry, this is how reality itself functions everywhere all the time. It looks like a chaotic mess on this map because this is a globe map that's been flattened out not to actually represent how it really looks. You can't get a real good look at how this would actually play out in a pattern on a flat version of a globe map. But just imagine that these are like pin strokes of somebody contouring the earth with all of these movements, shaping the face of the earth. That's what the sun and the moon are doing here, shaping the face of the earth, literally what's causing the movement in the tectonic planes to begin with. Causing the tides, causing the weather systems. And it's not even a mystery and it's not hard to see at all. They have to know this. Somebody has to know about this all. It's not remotely far-fetched. The ancient mystery schools knew all about this. This is how it lines up with Orion's belt. And if we just turn the clock back until this star is dead center in this pyramid, we can tell you exactly when they were built. Among many things, the pyramids are also a timestamp. We have the star charts, just dial them back. Now we are absolutely and without a doubt, there is no argument against it, talking about forces and frequencies. And if you zoom into those, you find more forces and frequencies. From classical physics to the quantum physics, it's all forces and frequencies. Reality itself being a projection on every level of, can you guess, forces and frequencies? The idea that ancient sacred sites are built on places of power or energized sites, giving rise to the idea of ley lines as if there is some sort of grid of power and that the ancient sacred sites are laid on this grid or these energized sites. The idea of which is more than plausible seems rather likely considering that the Large Hadron Collider at CERN is located in the same place as an ancient temple of Apollos the seat of Satan, as the Bible calls it. Makes more sense now why they have a Lord Shiva idol out front. Destruction, rebirth, and cycles. And this, boys and girls, is ancient mystery school occultism realized in the modern world. This is the religion of the pre-flood world. Opening portals and such, yeah, they're trying to call the angels down from heaven again, literally. But they're still learning how. They're primitive in their efforts. You can see how it has progressed through the years, and this one is the future plan. They want to figure out what really makes reality tick, you know? Because the fellas funding all this are always so benevolent with their findings, like nuclear bombs. Needed those, right? 
Are they doing the devil's work? Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be supernatural. The things that they're going to make with their own hands are going to be evil enough. Anyway, they're firing this thing up on April 8th, the same day as the solar eclipse, for a reason. And I mean, it's an occult ritual. That's why they always have those occult rituals right before they fire it up and such. This is ancient mystery school technology. Now, we're talking about the United States of America because these three solar eclipses happened right here. Now, take a look at this recent earthquakes map. Now, look at this recent earthquakes map, knowing that the sun and the moon are doing this. I cannot say when the Pacific plate is going to slip under the North American plate and flatten out topography. I cannot say when the North American plate is going to split in half. I can say without a doubt something just like this is what will cause it, though. I can't say how many cycles it'll take. I can only say this looks like the inevitable outcome to me, according to the science. And I know the earthquake in Taiwan was caused by that full moon total lunar eclipse. We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see indeed. I remember a couple weeks ago when I told all of you that I had made my last XRP video and I was transitioning my channel into something a little different. A lot of people assumed I would never talk about XRP again. That's not true. We're just expanding our mindsets on the information we take in because it's so, oh, so important. Ladies and gentlemen, what you need to realize is that a lot of people don't have the minds to see a lot of the things going on in the world. Truly, if you understood that the world is scripted, that these events are predetermined and at times they do use certain solar cycles and planetary alignments to move in unison you'll understand that these black swan events are more and more predictable ladies and gentlemen i'm not here to help guide you through normal times no 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 the bearable bull is here to help guide every single one of you through the black swan events that we've been experiencing. Right on the money we were on with everything in 2020 into 2021. Health crisis into financial crisis into crypto bull run. We were on the money pinpointing events. But we missed the crypto crash of 2022. The amount of refinement we've done on this channel and the journey I've been on to get things more accurately for every single one of you has been profound. And starting this month, I think you're going to see all the fruits of my labor in regards to the information you're going to be subjected to. There's a lot of things about the world that are about to happen that you need to be prepared for. And I'm going to make sure every single day I'll be both your comedic relief, but also your guide through the book of Revelation and the fall of one of the greatest empires the world has ever seen. Because the U.S. is one of the greatest empires. But I do expect a stern downturn. I think a lot of people feel that as well. I think with the state of our politics, our leaders, our currency, our economy, and people's mindset and health as a whole, the world sees it too. But I believe the new 1% amongst all of you in the XRP space can help be the catalyst to bring up humanity when everything is said and done. Keep your eyes glued to the screen as we continue to adapt and evolve. And the next couple videos I'll be putting out is going to be special in regards to all of your personal growth. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Now, I'll be back tomorrow with another video. What you see here on the screen is the Federal Reserve interest rates. And you can see how every single time rates increase, there's economic tightening and banks begin to fail. 
remember Silicon Valley and Signature Bank. When these interest rate hikes happen, inflation slows down. But what's actually crazy is that the Fed has been prepping your subconscious minds for interest rates to drop this year. That is what they've been projecting. That is what many people anticipate. And people incorrectly believe that interest rate cuts mean we go on a bull market. However, if you look at the graph on the screen and remember what happened in 2020 right here in February and March, this is when lockdowns began, but at the exact same time, it's when they cut rates from where they were all the way down to zero. A lot of people think inflation happened during the current administration, but it actually happened during the Trump administration when these rate cuts occurred. Money printer go burr was the theme of 2020. They were sending out stimulus checks. We felt the inflation and repercussions afterwards. We saw a bull market happen in 2021 because after the rates get cut, we see a bull market down the road. But we haven't seen rates get cut yet. And once rates do get cut, a flash crash occurs. March 2020 is when the flash crash in the crypto market sent us to the bear market lows. That's when XRP was 11 cents and Bitcoin was $3,500. That was when ETH was sub 100. Those were buying opportunities I took advantage of. And those multipliers will pay dividends this year.